Now won't you welcome Nobu Wakabayashi! Oh! What's up? <laughs> my name is Nobu, but my full name is Nobuyuki, which in Japanese stands for one with a very large penis. <laughs> I can't believe it either. Actually, it's not that large, but it's pretty damn long. But it's translated into English. It goes from four letters to eight. <laughs> so basically, Nobu is the soft, limp version of my name. <laughs> Which is dangling, lonely, and unexcited. <laughs> but fortunately, my last name is large, long, and gigantic. <laughs> It's Wakabayashi. And that goes from five to 11 stiff letters. That's probably the best copy I've done in Miami. I was cleaning out my closet one day and I find a man hiding in there. Curious, I ask, who the hell are you? What the hell are you doing? The man replies, I'm gay and I'm not ready to come out. <laughs> Another time, I see two beautiful women making out on the couch, so I grab a beer and go watch. <laughs> and that's it. I just felt like telling the story. My girlfriend and I argue a lot. She once claimed that men would never be able to bear children, even if we were capable of it. And you know what, she's right. Because I don't even like the thought of stretching out the neck of my sweater. <laughs> what happens? fascinates me about this country is the race car. I'm really fascinated by it. I think it's a great idea. You know, you bring in race just to complicate matters, even in like the most mundane situations. You get job offers, scholarships, quotas. It's pretty cool. But there's really something wrong with it. I don't get the benefit from it. <laughs> yeah, they say I'm too Americanized. And I'm like, what the hell does that mean, you know? They're like, well, you don't have an accent. I'm like, where really? <laughs> like Chinese takeout or me so horny? <laughs> My personal favorite, we rub you wrong time. <laughs> they say that I'm practically white. <laughs> It must be my mullet, or do I look like I follow NASCAR? And this kind of thought really pissed me off. So for the next few days, I wrote haikus. <laughs> and made origami. Practically white. You know, Asians um, also tend to have uh, problems with pronunciation when we first learned English, sort of like with the R's and the L's. So for a long time, I actually thought Americans only had massive erections every four years. <laughs> because I had one practically every morning. <laughs> so the conversation would be like, you have an erection every morning. And I'm like, yeah, you know, it gives me a problem with the aim, you know, to the toilet. And they're like, in Japan. I'm like, no, anywhere. You know what the greatest feeling in the world is? 
no, it's, I'm talking to myself. It's when I first came to this country <laughs> as an immigrant and became a citizen. I became a citizen last May, but if I had a choice, I would have preferred to become a citizen probably around the 1890s. When you get to take a ferry to Ellis Island, and you get to see the Statue of Liberty, you know, it's pretty true, it's pretty inspirational. I saw Lady Liberty from the polluted traffic on the Jersey Turnpike, <laughs> going to Newark, New Jersey, car theft capital of the world, while Hooker offers me a toss salad. <laughs> I already ate. <laughs> You know, um, Japanese people are actually at a crossroads right now because we have a serious identity crisis. Um, yeah, we really have a problem because, you know, when Tom Cruise is considered the last samurai, <laughs> we have some serious issues to deal with. Because if I was like the first Scientologist, I'm sure Tom Cruise would even consider taking some medication. <laughs> You know, one thing I hate really, too, is uh, drivers that are real slow on the highway that go 50 on the left lane, especially if they're Asian. <laughs> and it's my father. <laughs> With me in the car. That really sucks. My father was actually around during uh, the peak of the civil rights movement in this country, and uh, he was pretty shocked at the segregation he saw. You know, this was the time, you know, uh, segregated buses, segregated water fountains, segregated bathrooms, you know? And, uh, you know, one sign says white, one says black, but none say Asian. <laughs> so my father was confused, and he went through a rough period where he walked a lot. He was thirsty, and he publicly pissed, and he finally had enough, so he decided to go black. But once my father went black, they sent him right back. Rosa Parks once told my father to get the hell out of her seat. You know, one thing that really annoys me these days is uh, I join a gym and I see butt-naked old people walk around in the lockers. With their nuts hanging out, dragging on the ground. It's like when they get out of the sauna, they leave a wet streak like a mop. It's like they're counting around two grapefruits in a laundry bag. Another thing that really annoys me, too, is uh, celebrities that don't wear any underwear. You know, they get their pictures taken, basically doing like a spread eagle. It's like, hey, look what I forgot to do this morning. <laughs> you know, um, Britney Spears, Lindsay Lohan, Susan Boyle. <laughs> God save the queen. And I don't know whether they do this for comfort, or if it's for desperate cry of attention, but, you know, aside from their talent, I guess they've never heard of the quote, loose lips sink ships. <laughs> <laughs> because if I wanted to see something that resembles a Sharpay or a Bulldog, I would go to the pet store. <laughs> I think I'm done. <laughs> Thanks. Love you guys. Nobu Wakabayashi!